Hello, my precious family in Christ. Right off the bat, I want to apologize for this video, but I want to alleviate some of your concerns. I'm not going back to contending with the Pharisees. I know there's no point, so don't worry. That's not what this video is. But the, they have now started to take the argument outside of Scripture, and they are attempting to character assassinate the grace preachers here on YouTube. And if you don't know what that means, they are ass essentially trying to paint a false narrative and, and make, us, make us look like we hate the Word of God and that we are preaching things that we are not preaching by taking things that we say out of context and searching our videos for anything that they can misconstrue. That happened to me recently, and I'm not particularly worried about it. But Mr. Uh, Greg Jackson and uh, Pastor Tim Henderson have been getting the brunt of this, okay? Now, what happened with Pastor Tim Henderson is he has a book published. I haven't read the book, but I know a few people who, that have that have affirmed to me that the people that are... There are some people out there, some works wolves, that have bought this book and are reading specific passages in it and not giving the wider context so that they can take Pastor Tim's words out of context and say that he's saying something that he's not. This is blatant, brothers and sisters, and it wouldn't be something that I would reply to if I didn't think that people were being being duped by this duplicit, duplicitedness, okay? But they are. Babes in Christ and people that are searching for the truth are being given a false narrative about us, and people have even gotten to the point that they are making accounts with our name to try and... Uh, to try and pretend to be us and some of our subscribers as well. I've mentioned this before, but now I mentioned it again to, to show you guys how serious it has gotten. These people ha are using the very tools of Satan himself. It is no longer a matter of scriptural disagreement. Not that it ever was, because they, most of them are denying the gospel outright. And I say most of them because there's always that little hope in the back of my mind that maybe they just got deceived somewhere along the line, like the Galatians did, and they fell away from the truth. But they did not fall away from their salvation because you can't thank the Lord for that. But Prophecy Watch and, con and along with hated Apostle Cooper have decided to lie about me. And I'm going to show you that lie outright even though I mentioned it in the previous video. So let's take a look at this for just a second. It's the law. I said here that the law is vomit. But the greater and wider context of what I was saying, which is established if you watch this video, is that trying to save yourself by the law, returning to the law to be saved, is returning to one's own vomit. Because your self-righteousness is not but filthy rags to the Lord. It is vomit. It is waste. It is nothing. Okay? We are believe that we are saved by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ once for all, and that the process of sanctification begins after that point. We do not only trust him as a savior, but also as the one that will lead us to the end of our walk. Nobody has ever said that Christ walked the walk for us, okay? And what I mean by that is that we still have a race to run, but salvation is not a prize, it's a gift, okay? That the how we run our race is going to determine our reward at the Bema Seat as well as whether or not we're going to be chastised on this earth. If you want to live a happy life in the Lord and you want to be filled with the joy and the peace of the Lord, you have, to, you have to walk in obedience to the Holy Spirit. There's no other way. If you attempt to walk in the darkness of this world, you are going to be chastised and you are going to be a very miserable person because you have no fellowship with darkness, as I said in the previous video. If you attempt to save yourself by the law, you are not going to succeed because you are going to stand before Christ and, and claim that you added to your salvation. The Bible is abundantly clear about this. I even showed in this video that we fulfill the law by faith in Jesus Christ, which is established in Romans 8, 1 through 9. Okay? That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. And again, we are not after the flesh because we have been circumcised from it by faith in Jesus Christ. He, the circumcision made without hands. Okay? You can find that in Colossians 2.11. So this is just a, a blatant lie, and I attempted to rebuke that lie in Prophecy Watch's video only to have my comment removed. Now you can see the comment here, but if you look up here, it says there's nine comments, okay? Because only I can see this now, okay? It's been blocked. Now Prophecy Watch said that he blocked me because I blocked him, and I have to give that to him. I did block him because I don't want him in there posting scripture out of context on my channel. It's as simple as that. 
But then he tries to say that I'm in here to sow dissension. Well, Prophecy Watch, I'm not the one that posted a crappy 2 minute and 23 second video that is a response to a 40 minute teaching video. There's no substance to this video that you posted here, or rather this video that you mirrored at all. It's just this Apostle Cooper's attempt to discredit my character so that he doesn't have to address the argument. That's all it is. He doesn't, he, it's an argument outside of scripture and it's a deceitful one at that. And I don't, I don't appreciate you calling me a heretic and a liar based upon his lieful deceits, his lying deceits either. I'm not blocking the truth either. My entire channel is devoted to dissecting and figuring out what the truth is by rightly dividing the word of God. I blocked you because you do not bear the truth whether you're saved or not, Prophecy Watch. And I never called you unsaved. I just, I highly doubt it based upon your behavior. Okay? I don't want your prayers because, quite frankly, you're not praying in the Lord. Okay? I, a guitar, I'm really glad to see that you were in here contending, but as I will say to most of my subscribers, please avoid this stuff. It's just poison, okay? I'm not even going to bother to address remembering the words of Jesus because Proverbs 18, 13 applies to them. They answered a matter before they heard it. They never watched my videos. They don't know the content of my videos, and they're giving me the same verses that I've heard for the past, or since I've started this. It's always the same verses taken out of context, and they always act like we've never addressed it. It's... Look, the Catholic Church has been squelching people that preach about once saved, always saved, theologians and studied men's of God, men of God for years. They don't want it to get out. Now, I'm not saying everybody in the Catholic Church is guilty. There are some, some saved people in the Catholic Church who come out of the heresy that, that is being parroted by it, like that priest I mentioned, like my grandfather, I hope, okay? There are some saved people in the Catholic Church, but the people like the Pope, and the people that are stringing along these lies and these deceits for salvation are the ones that are trying to squelch the truth. They even tried to destroy the King James Bible because they didn't want people to have the Bible to be able to read it for themselves, okay? If you look into the history of that, there were, there were attempted assassinations on King James. Now, we can argue and debate about whether or not the Masons and all that were involved. No, there's a whole thing there, but like I said, once saved, always saved is not some man-made invention. It is a part of the gospel. So you can see my reply here, which pretty much says, excuse me. Nope, I called following God's law to try and be saved vomit. You saw an easy way to misconstrue what I said because I could have spoke better. Brothers and sisters, I, I do not believe for a second that I'm a professional orator. If you listen to my videos, I often stumble over my words, okay? It's, I have, I'm not a professional in that way. But I do study the word of God. And the Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians one twenty six, not many wise men after the flesh, or many mighty, many noble are called. Okay? I'll tell you the same thing I told Prophecy Watch. If you want to continue insinuating otherwise, that is that I called the God's word vomit or the law of vomit, then you will answer to the Lord. And I stand by that. Because he knows what I meant to say. You know what I meant to say. And quite frankly, what I said in that video is clear to anybody that knows the wider context and actually watched the content wanting to learn and be edified. Anybody that's looking to cause trouble and to cause dissension is going to find anything he possibly can to use it to, to cause that. And so Prophecy Watch said, because all you have done is come here and stir up dissension and bring many attacks against me and, and against others who do not agree with you, I'm going to do exactly what you did to me and block and delete. So long, heretic. Prophecy Watch, you're, if you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. That's all I'm going to tell you. There's no dissension prophecy watch. There never was. I came in here to reprove a lie that is being perpetrated against my channel. And that very same lie in a different context is also being perpetrated against Pastor Tim and Greg Jackson. Pastor Tim never said that it was crap to follow Jesus in the way that you are in insinuating that he did. He said it is crap to follow Jesus in the sense of trying to save yourself by your own self-righteous obedience. Obedience is a result of salvation. It is not the cause of salvation. And even then... We will struggle, we will fall. Romans 7, 15 through 25, along with many other verses that say that we are there are such things as carnal babes in Christ who need to go on into maturity, being perfected by the Holy Spirit that has been placed within them. It's that simple. I don't appreciate your lies, and I do not take this man seriously whatsoever. If you want an actual response from me, try making a video that is filled with to the brim with scripture, that is not filled to the brim with accusations against me and calling me an unsaved, worthless heretic and, and all sorts of other names, and maybe, just maybe, I will give you a response. 
because it won't be a response to a works wolf. It will be a response to somebody that genuinely wants to know what the truth is and wants to sharpen iron against iron. But I never get it. All I get are these two minute long uh, character assassinations and, and or people will, will make a long video about one of the things that I posted, but they skip the wider context. They don't let me finish a sentence. They respond to me before I finish making my point and it's just a mess. Okay? I'm not interested in that kind of stuff. And if you're one of those people that has come from these channels, you are being deceived and lied to. And I just showed you that. This video right here that you're looking at is a lie. The video that was mirrored is the same exact video and it is a lie. Prophecy Watch deleted my comment not to get back at me, but because he doesn't want this comment to be at the top. And, you're, and yes, I did upvote it because it's the truth. I upvoted my own comment and I would do it again here because it is the truth and it needs to be seen. God bless brothers and sisters. Amen and amen.